Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with another OG pistol configuration sub, the Lockman. Not the Lockman Shroud, and as a matter of fact, I'll leave a link to the Lockman Shroud video that I posted earlier. On that video, I got a comment from a friend of the channel, Relentless, and he suggested maybe I should just try the same configuration on a Lockman sub. Now, obviously, we can't use the Jack Decimator because... It doesn't exist on this configuration, but we can take away the stock. We can load up the recoil. We can add the paracord and the quartermaster suppressor. So let's take a look and see exactly what we did. We start with the quartermaster suppressor that helps with the recoil. You can see it's right around 100 degrees per second and the kick. Horizontal is not so bad. Vertical 51.63 degrees per second and it impacts the ADS speed minimally. It's still at 205, which is okay and sprint to fire speed is all the way down at 87. Alternatively, you can use the shadow strike suppressor, get the sprint to fire speed down to 80 and the ADS speed to 195. Recoil gun kick though is a bit higher at around 110 degrees per second. Let's have a quick look at the damage. Headshot 39, 36 for the upper and lower torso and 33 for the upper legs. We're firing at a rate of 800 rounds per minute. That's about 13% Point three rounds per second. I realize you can't shoot a third of a round, but it's the law of averages here. Bullet velocity is okay at 517.3. Effective damage range though reaches out all the way to 15.2 meters with the minimum damage range at 40. So it's a four shot kill if you can get them all to the head. And high recoil, what are the chances? I think they're pretty good actually, as you'll see in the gameplay. And if we get a four shot kill to the head, it's going to be a 225 millisecond time to kill on a fully healthy enemy, remembering that with your within range, it's likely that first shot is going to be an instantaneous hit scan. It's a five shot kill everywhere else, which puts it at about a 300 millisecond time to kill, which is okay middling time to kill with this weapon. So let's take a look at the ADS movement speed, and these are composite numbers, 3.6 meters per second. So we'll be be able to dodge left and right at a fairly good rate. Not the best, but good enough for a sub. Reload quickness is a bit slow, and because it's a bit slow, we put the 50 round mag on. That increased at 25%, and you can see what it did to the mobility and the handling. Hurts the ADS speed a bit, hurts the ADS movement speed a bit. We could go with a 40 round drum, but there's not a lot of difference in the stats that I care about. Sprint to fire and ADS movement speed, one meter per second, not that much difference. If we go down to the 15 round mag now, we can be bouncing back and forth. But that's not going to work in free for all. Trust grandpa. Let's look at the other new attachment on this OG weapon, and that's the paracord grip. All pros, no cons, and you can see that it's a significantly helps with the horizontal recoil and the sprint to fire speed. The L38 Falcon 226 Mike Mike barrel and it gives us some green in the mobility and handling and red in the recoil, but we're not going to worry about the recoil. We'll look at that here in a second. The LM Stockless Mod increases the kick by 106% and 35% for the horizontal and vertical, but look what it does. The ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and ADS movement speed. And if you like to crouch, sniff your feet, you can have a good time doing it because it's 2.3 meters per second. Movement speed's fairly quick at 5 5.3 meters per second sprint speed goes up to 5.5 and tack sprint speed at 7.2 so i said we'll take a look at the recoil now's the time to do that first tip shooting no control it goes pretty much straight up with a little side to side bounce slightly to the right now we'll aid him down sight no control we see that we do have a fair amount of aim idle sway there same thing straight up, slightly to the right, only a little less to the right. We're still aimed at the dummy. Let's take the OG Lockman Shroud, the pistol configuration version with no stock, with the Season 5 Quartermaster Suppressor and Paracord Grip attached, a lot of recoil, onto the Field of Honor. See what it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's enemies. Let's go. Let's get into this. Free for all on sell ship, otherwise known as shipment. Just an absolute killing field. 
I mean, Grandpa is dead three times before he even knows he's in a game. There's a lady. In a prom queen nightgown, I guess. I always get to get a double kill, though, in free for all. <laughs> even if you get gacked afterwards. Put out the welcome mats. The weapon is performing quite well. Good turn on. Good speed. No recoil. No recoil. Once once you get the enemy locked in, there is no recoil on this thing. So all those creators that tell you, oh, you won't be able to get four headshots because of the recoil, they're either playing on PC, and Grandpa always plays on a console, or they really haven't tested the weapon. There's a quad kill. That helps. A triple. And, and buying the farm. Six times multi-kill. Seven. This Lockman is going crazy. A mega kill. That's eight kills, I think. Super kill, seven, something like that. So that gives Grandpa some breathing room, and I'm sure he's going to need it because... Whoa. There's a guy with a black bathrobe sliding past. Grandpa gacks him. The Lockman gacks him. Can't put out any streaks because somebody put him out some sort of electronic device. There's the black bathrobe. Why somebody wears... Oh, there's the nightgown prom queen. Guy trying to snake behind the... Behind the cover there. He was tweaking. He's also eating bullets. There's the bathrobe man. Uh, there's just so much going on. We got we got a jumping zombie. There's there's jumping bathrobe. Wolf man. The lockman doesn't care what skin you got. It just puts you down. Especially in this configuration. Like I said, if you use the shadow strike, and there's a win. Grandpa's going to do a little jig. He's going to get down tonight. Now, you could use the shadow strike suppressor and be a little bit faster side to side, I believe. But y'all like the quartermaster. Quartermaster is a good solid. Keeps down the... So the recoil that doesn't exist in Grandpa's mind. I know you guys on PC have told me it does exist. But some of you on consoles have agreed with me. And maybe that's the reason, the first reason to play on a console instead of a PC. You do have the 120 degree field of view now on the console too. Which others have said is not good. Hey, look, an iron back. What kind of grown man would wear an iron back? Carrying a full weapon. And yeah, I stepped on my welcome mat there. I'm not going to switch to thermals just yet. My technique, if you're playing free, there's, there's a Muppet. My technique is if somebody, one or more ironbacks in the lobby, and you get gacked by the shield itself, then switch to thermals or stickies. I prefer thermals, and I'm pretty good at sticking them, punishing them. Grandpa drops a shot there. We got Snoop Dogg. Don't go to the concert. He will not be there. Snoop has left the building. Although Snoop just got Grandpa. So I can't think of anything to improve this configuration. Except for maybe the shadow strike, but that's technique. That's that's preference, and also maybe the smaller mag. But I do make full use of the larger mag. And one thing to keep in mind is that a weapon may have a five. Somebody, somebody's the fish are nibbling, Grandpa. Bang! What happened there? 
a, a weapon may have a five shot kill but you can count on a couple things number one it may be less than that because the enemy is already wounded especially in free for all and 6v6 the enemy may even be one shot two you may miss a few rounds and three depending oh look at snoop dodging around Woo! he's got the mini bike that's a good gun in this game that's pretty fast movement there there's somebody smelling the roses. So I said two, he may be one shot. And three, depending on the fire rate of the weapon, you're not going to be able to hold down the trigger and release it in five rounds. On the faster shooting guns, it generally takes eight to ten rounds just to go through the process. And back when I was... A new fighter pilot they used to tell us that all of the charts the stopping distance charts that's when you land and how long does it take to stop how long does it take it, depending on the runway condition if it's wet or icy or if it's dry they did tests to create those charts so you can understand the distance and know if you had enough runway remaining or, or enough runway at all or if you needed just to drop your hook and engage a approach end barrier which I did a few times even though we weren't Navy we still had hooks so these test pilots tested out these stopping distances and they found that the reaction time is about three seconds which will get you killed here in, in COD but these guys knew that they were going to test a stopping distance and I'm sure it didn't take them a full three seconds, but the charts account for a three-second reaction time. Because you got to make a decision. So anyway, that's the reason why time to kill, in my opinion, is not a huge, huge stat that I choose a weapon on, unless you're talking maybe the one shot kill weapons because the first shot is generally a hit scan if you're close anyway which means it's an instantaneous hit all right we just got two more to go before the enemy gets three get rid of that thing it took out my proximity mine last time can't find anybody to gack but it's not the Lockman's fault because the Lockman is awesome. Thought there was somebody in the corner back there. Grandpa's seeing things. There's a hopping zombie. Oh, he's the he's Elvis now. Zombie Elvis again. We had that yesterday. I better find one before he does. And it doesn't help to buy the farm. Oh, there we go. An easy gag. So Grandpa's very excited about that one. He's excited about the Lockman. Try the configuration. Let us know how it works for you. Also, if you like the video, I appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. I would definitely try this config powerful. Cheers, and as always, peace to you.